I shouldn't. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. Right. Um. So we are going to use this uh, case by case method to work out A, B, and C. A, B, and C is the order from this question. Okay. Now, if the first case is if step one is the slowest step. Okay. So if we look at um, step one, slow. That means the rest is fast. Okay. Step one is the rate determining step. And what do we know about the relationship between rate determining step and the rate? We say that whatever appears in the slow rate determining step, that same molecule, that same species appears in the rate equation as well. Okay, so first case is step one being the rate determining step. You can see that you have H2O2 and I minus. Okay, the number of molecules. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Yes. So the number of molecules is the same as the order, right? So you have one molecule of H2O2. That means for the first case, your A is one. Because you only have one molecule of H2O2. Okay. The second one, you have one molecule of I minus. So I minus has a first order. B is also one. C is the concentration of H plus. Do you see H plus in your slow step? No. no. So that means H plus is zero, zero order because it is not shown in the first step. H plus appears in step two, which is the first step. Okay, so for step one, uh, so for the first scenario where step one is the slowest, H2O2 is first order, I minus is first order, H plus is zero order. Are you following this? Yes. Okay, so that's the first scenario. Oh, I shouldn't have erased that slow. The next scenario, so we're moving away from the first scenario. The next scenario, step two is the slowest. So this one, okay. Now don't forget this IO minus actually comes from here. So that means IO is included, uh, sorry, IO includes H2O2 and I minus. Okay, so in the slow step, inside your IO, which comes from the previous step, you have H2O2 and I minus. There's one molecule of H2O2, that means A is one, first order. B is also one, first order, because you have one iodine. Okay, and then H plus. Do you see this H plus? And it appears once. Okay, and that's in the slow step. Therefore, the order with respect to H plus is also one. Are you okay with that? Okay, don't forget, you must not ignore this IO minus. This IO minus actually, inside that IO minus is a combination of your H2O2 plus I minus. So essentially, your H2O2 and your I minus is also in the slow rate determining step. It's not directly, but we call this indirectly. Okay, so your H2O2 and your I minus is indirectly in your slow rate determining step. Okay, so that's the second scenario. The third scenario is when step three is the slowest. Okay, so let's see what does step three includes. Okay, HOI. HOI comes from OI minus and also H plus. Okay, what is OI minus? You have to go back to this. Okay, so all of these things that I mark 
is actually included is in your rate determining step. Now, the number of molecules that include in the rate determining step is the same as the order. Okay, now let's see. Uh, H2O2, how many H2O2 do you have here? H2O2, do you have two H2O2? One. One, there's only one, so the order is one. Okay, B is I minus, how many I minus do you have? Two. 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 So the order is two. Okay. And lastly, H plus. Two. 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 The order is two. Okay. So these are the possible orders when the rate determining step is a different step. Okay. So you have to look at them case by case. I hope that is clear. Is that okay for you? Yes. Okay. So uh, one thing that you need to learn from this is to not ignore the intermediates, okay? Just because they appear as intermediates doesn't mean you say, oh, I O minus. I don't have I O minus in the, in the rate equation, so I should ignore it. You need to revisit Okay, you go back, what is your IO minus? What makes up your IO minus? So that indirectly is saying that the species is also involved in that step. Okay, like this one. You have H plus, I, I minus. These two are directly involved in the slow rate determining step. HOI, however, is indirectly. And inside this HOI, you have H plus, I minus, and H2O2. So you must not ignore that. Okay, the next part I think is something that you can do easily. Calculate the initial rate is, you know how to do that. Just find the tangent at the initial concentration. Okay, that's what initial rate means. Um, use half-life data to show that the reaction is first order. Again, half-life, please start from the starting point. It's easiest, 0 0.01 and then you go down to 0 0.0005. And then you go down to 0 .00, 0 0 0.00025, okay? You just need two half-lives to confirm that they are constant, okay? And then this is the table. Uh, you have to deduce the orders with respect to H2O2 and H+. Plus, okay, so um, if you look at Experiment one and two, you can see that the H2O2 changes, but the H plus stays the same, okay? And then for uh, H plus, there is a combined effect, okay? So let's have a look at this one, just because, okay? So 0 0.07, or Jun Ang, 0 0.07 divided by 0 0.05. That is times by 1.4. Don't skip the rest of the question, okay? I will only help you with some of this. Uh, 1.4 divided by 1 is, of course, 1.4. Okay, so you can see from here already that the order is first order with respect to H2O2, okay? Make sure when you answer the order, you must refer to the specific species, okay? Don't just say first order. First order with respect to who? Because there are many um, reactants sometimes in a reaction, okay? So H2O2 is first order. Now I want to find the order of um, H+. plus. Okay, so you can take one and three, or you can take two and three, okay? So I will use a different color, I'll use blue, okay? Let's just take 0 0.07 to 0 0.09, okay? Let's take two and three. 0 0.09 divided by 0 0.07 is times by 
one point. How do you read this? Ah, uh, one point two dot eight. What does it mean? One point two 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 two. Is it? How do you read one point two dot eight from a calculator? Is it one point two? One point what? One point two dot. The dot is on the number two. One point two point eight. One point two. No, 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 no. I mean one point two. The dot is on top of number two. Like this, like this. Oh, is that what it means? Like this. One point two dot eight. So it means one point two 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 dot eight or what? One point two eight two eight two. One point two eight two eight two eight. Because there's other numbers as well. Like this. Then that. I didn't know calculator can can do that. Yes, miss two 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 nya banya. So it's one point two two lah. Okay, I believe you. And then here, zero point zero seven divided by zero point zero five. One point four. Yeah. You know what? When I was doing um this with uh my other blog, I was the only one talking. No one responded to me. I was like really sad. We can talk to you, miss. <laughs> Okay, so one point two two. Okay, one point two two. Now you see that when you increase the concentration of H two O two by one point two two, and increasing the H plus by one point four, your rate only increases by one point two. Remember, this rate increases is a combined effect of both your H two O two and H plus. Okay, now we know that H2O2 is first order. So if you increase by that amount, 1.22, the rate also increases by the same amount. Now, what is the effect from H that means? That means, what does that mean about, um, what does that say about H plus? Yeah, no effect. As you increase the change of H plus, there is no effect on the rate. Okay? So that means H plus is zero order. That's right, zero order with respect to H. Okay? So please do not forget this combined effect. Right? So um, I repeat, this increase in rate is actually a combination of increase in H2O2 and H plus. Now we already know that H2O2 is first order, so increasing H2O2 by 1.22, the rate will also increase by 1.22. But don't forget, you have also increased the concentration of H plus by 1.4. Obviously, increasing, one point, increasing your H plus by 1.4 has no effect on your rate. Okay, It cannot go bigger than that. Maximum is already 1.22, in which case that is the effect that you saw from H2O2. Okay. The rest of that, please, uh, you will do it, right? So I will just help you with uh, some, of, some of the questions. Uh, question six. Question six, the per first part. Zero order with respect to H. Step one, apa kan? What? What are you talking about, Eric? Ugh. That's the next one for you to answer. Now we move on to question six. Please don't just leave it blank. Huh? Make sure you do. So, so far we've done question eight, seven, six. <clears throat> so that will be your assignment for Friday. Question eight is classwork. Today is nine. Question seven is homework for Friday. Friday is uh, tomorrow ten. 
Question six is also homework for Friday, but I will help you with some. Homework for Friday, 10 for 20. Okay, I might need another session with my block four though. So what am I going to do with you? You sound so rude. <laughs> what? No, I mean... What am I going to do with you? <laughs> no, exactly. Like, what am I going to do in lesson with you? Because they are one lesson behind. That's what I meant. I, I didn't mean it in a, in a rude way. I'll think about it. Okay, uh, for question six, first part is the easy part. I don't want to do that with you. I want to look at part D. So they already tell you the reaction is found to be first order with respect to CHCO, CH3. So rate is equals to K times by CH3 CH, oh sorry, CH3, CO, CH3. Uh, and with respect to H plus as well. Zero order with respect to I2. Okay, so that means my rate is just this. This one is also uh, not that difficult. But, you know, maybe some of you may not be able to do it. Okay. Can we move on? Yes. Yeah? Are you okay? Have you read the question? Well, you just need this though, the rate equation. Where's Kawi today? Why is Kawi quiet today? Kawi? Kawi is not responding. Mukri? Hello. <laughs> Kaisyang? Kaisyang will never say anything. Uh, L? I think I hear L's voice. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Daffy. I never hear Daffy's voice as well. No, no from Duffy. Ben, Ben, Ben just replies on the group chat. Mirza. Hello. So rude. Zoom signed me out. Hello? Everyone? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Are you there? Yes. I got signed out, sorry. Uh, hi, can hear. Let's call it a day. How dare you, Ang? You join us late and then you, you, you say call it a day. How dare you? We have 14 participants. Oh yeah, Eric. Eric using two devices. Uh, Duffy, Duffy, I was just asking if I can hear Duffy's voice. Hello. Oh, yeah, that is really Duffy. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Mirza? Yes. Okay, good. Inshira, yes, um, she responds uh, during class. Iqbal, yes, I can hear his voice. Uh, Isa? Isa responds on the, in the, on the group, ch group chat sometimes. Uh, I miss. Okay. Right. Okay. Good to know that you, you are all listening to me. Maybe I should do that out with my block four. It's, it's very different. Like, um, I'm not even that energetic because it's just gloomy, uh, very quiet. I'm talking to myself. Anyway, moving on. This is being recorded and it's going on YouTube. Um, no hard feelings, block four. Not saying bad thing about you. It's just that you have um, different uh, characters from um, block five. Okay. Uh, 
Right, um, so looking at this rate equation, they want you to plot this graph. It says that when carried out in uh, one mole per dm cube of HCl, what is HCl? HCl is the H plus, right? H plus. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. same thing. Um, the rate was found to be that much. Predict the rate of the reaction in 0 0.2 mole per dm cube and in 0 0.3 mole per dm cube. Okay, easy. First, you use the first information that they give you. If you know how to use the ratio, you can just use it quickly. You can do this very quickly or you can find the K first. Okay. First information tells you that the rate is 0 0.002 when the concentration of HCl is, uh, what is this? 0 0.1 mole per dm cube. Ugh. Stop telling me that I'm running out of time. You cut me out, Zoom. 0 0.1 mole per dm cube. Do we know anything about the propanol? No. So, how do we do this? Any idea how to do this? Ratio. Um, hello, is this block four? Yeah. Hello, hello, am I talking to block four? Any idea how to do this? I'm guessing using ratio works, but I haven't done that. Let's see. Let's try. I need to charge my laptop first. We have um, about eight minutes left. So 0 0.002 divided by 0 0.1. That's 0 0.02. Predict the rate of the reaction 0 0.2 moles per dm cube of HCl. We know that H plus is first order, right? Oh, we use that. Okay. Never mind. We don't use this. We don't use this. We now use the idea that um, H plus is first order. So if the... Who is erasing my screen? How dare you? So if 0 0.1, if uh, Kong versus state, okay, if your concentration is, so cancel the rate equation. If your concentration is 0 0.002, your rate would be 0 0.1. Okay. If now your concentration is 0 0.2 and the fact that H plus is first order, what's your rate? What do you think? Yeah, just double it, okay? Because it has the same effect. This one is times two. Mm -hmm. So that means the concentration would also be times two, okay? Because H plus is first order, right? If it's 0 0.3, same thing, times by three, okay? So you don't have to use the rate equation because you don't know the concentration of your other species, which is um, propanone. So you just plot, it looks like, uh, it, it looks like, it looks like 0 0.2 would be 0 0.04, and then 0 0.3 would be 0 0.006. And then your straight line should look like that. And it has to go through zero, okay? Um, this is a characteristic of a first order. This is a characteristic of a rate 
concentration graph of a first order reactant okay as you increase the concentration the rate increases by the same amount or what we say it's directly proportional is that okay and then the next one you have to work out the mechanism which is not that bad right before we end the session any questions no 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 you happy to go happy yes. happy yes yes all right then thank you everyone assalamualaikum Thank you, man. You're welcome. You. Bye. Hey, who is that scribbling my screen? Isa, miss, is the whole time Isa. Yo, you're welcome. Bye. No. Uh, miss. Yes. The concentration rate is uh, upside down. Which one? Concentration rate is upside down? The concentration versus rate. Concentration versus rate. You mean the axis, is it? This two? Uh, no, no, no. No, the not. The right side. And the left side, sorry. And the right side, right side. The right, right side, side, this one. Yeah. Up and upside down. Rate and concentration. Rate and concentration. Maksudnya? What do you mean? The concentration is the on the on the left. Side, oh, the oh, right yes, 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 yes. Sorry, you're right, you're right. Yeah, spot on. Okay, I hope the others got that too. Rate versus concentration. Yes, thank you. Thanks, Iqbal. Uh, bye, Miss. Bye. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. Bye.